Well, we're on trial watch. Uh, we have several trials that are coming up. Uh, we are getting a finalization on the Ron Jeremy trial sometime in the middle of February, uh, where he's going to be pro most likely institutionalized uh, because of his dement the really bad dementia that he has on there. So his trial is not going forward. Um, the, the Sunny Stitch trial, uh, we should be seeing some pre-trial coming up very soon on that. And then there's one other trial. No, actually, there's two other trials uh, we're looking at, too. Of course, we forgot about the Pornhub, MindGeek. Uh, that hasn't come fo anything more forward on that, and we'll continue to monitor that. But there is one other that is hopefully we got a start date for uh, that has been uh, postponed for four years. Four years. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. Thank you for tuning in. We are well over 630 on YouTube. Marching on to 700. Hopefully we'll get there by the end of February. And uh, hopefully we get it sooner. We really do. Uh, we're trying to get the 200 on BitChute. And we're still, we're still working on uh, Odyssey and Rumble as well so out of xbiz mercedes carrera trial rescheduled for february four years after arrest the criminal trial of mercedes carrera and her husband on multiple child sex abuse charges was postponed again on january 17th according to court documents judge katrina west has now scheduled the trial to begin on february 27th with a trial read readiness date set for February 24th. The pre-trial hearing for the case was held last, last year in July when an October date was agreed upon for the beginning of the jury trial. The date was vacated and postponed first to January 9th, 2023, and then to January 17th before postponing again until last week until February. Carrera and her husband, Jason Whitley, were arrested after a police raid of their Rancho Cucamonga home on February 1st, 2019. By the new trial date, they were been in county jail awaiting for trial for over four years, held initially with, without bail and later, ha after they had liquidated their assets, had no source of income due to their incarceration, with bail set at $2 million for each. Carrera's lawyer, Jeff Newman, a private conflict board attorney appointed by the public defender's office, has not made any comments to the press about the most recent delays. Now, the thing about it is, and, you know, Expos has mentioned this before. There's another part of this case, and I said this to someone on the comments line. I had someone in the comments line have mentioned that, you know, this has been taking quite some time. There are multiple people saying, you know, that's on there. But the discussion we had was that, I, and I had said this, there's another part of this tale that a lot of people haven't been talking about. And we were saying something with the Justin Roiland situation. We need the facts and the evidence of the situation of what is going on. And the same thing with this case. This case has been hold, on hold for four years, four years in prison. I'm surprised the lawyers haven't fought to get a reduction in the bail because it's like $4 million. It's $2 million each. You know, and they've already been incarcerated for four years. You know, does, doesn't that violate some sort of statute? You know, that they've been incarcerated so long, you know, because one thing with California law, you know, a lot of them are insane when it comes to uh, trials and on there. But I'm not a lawyer to push that out. Maybe that's something I got to ask, like Nick Ricade or something like that. Uh, someone or someone on the West Coast on there. But the thing about it is the other half of this is that there is a child custody situation. Now, the, the supposedly the child that they that the, the charges are on is her own daughter, supposedly. Now, her ex has been fighting to try to get custody. And this is prior to. So this whole situation in 2019 and he's been fighting ever since to try to get on this and mercedes had mentioned in an interview in next biz that she believed that her husband is the reason why they are in jail which that's not unheard of 
I mean, even on a law TV show, you've heard situations like this before where basically um, children have been coerced to lie, uh, that one parent wants cu full custody, and, and mostly it's like, you know, trying to get away from the mother or trying to get away with the father. It depends on situation to situation and depending on the laws of each state. Is it possibility that this all stems down to a child custody case that someone is trying to use sexual abuse as a weapon against his ex? It's a possibility. Is it possible that Mercedes and her husband is guilty of these charges? Possibility. Once again, facts and evidence. All we've heard was the title charges to this. And that's about it. We haven't seen any of the evidence. We haven't see, heard from any witnesses. No trial on there. We're getting the pre-trials underway. And we're getting a proceeding prior to it. Hopefully, hopefully, February 27th will be the start of this trial. We will cover this as best we can. Unfortunately, due to California law, there will probably most likely be no cameras in the courtroom. That's pretty much, that's pretty much about 100%. We would love to cover this live. I would love to get someone like Nick Ricada or someone like that, or one of the other lawyers to, to come cover it with me if they had it live. Because this would, this would be an interesting case as far as, you know, these accusations, are they true, are they false? Is this a child custody case? Like I said, you know, is this a lie just to try to get revenge? You know, it's not unheard of. This is why we throw these at you. And I encourage you to comment below and tell me your feelings. And I know a lot of people have discussed this on our comments line, especially on uh, BitChute and on YouTube. So I do encourage you to continue to comment on that. I would like to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.